Hey guys, I'm Salma Dada reporting for Cal TV Entertainment, and I'm here at Bottom of the Hill in San Francisco to interview the amazingly talented Joe Brooks. So join me as I chat with him before his performance tonight. I'm here with the man himself, Joe Brooks. Um, so, Joe, hi, how are you doing? I am good, how are you? I'm doing well, thank you. Um, so you've been touring the U.S. for a while now. Um, can you just tell me how we're treating you? How's everything going? Well, yeah, I mean, we, this year has been absolutely amazing. Um, uh, we have toured over 10 countries, three continents, um, and this is our second tour of the U.S. this year. Have you always wanted to do music as a career? Is that something that you knew from the very beginning? Uh, absolutely not. No, I was all about sport. I was such a, just a sports fiend. Um, I played um, football, aka soccer, and tennis um, right up until I played tennis from the age of four to 16. That was my dream to win Wimbledon. Um, I took it really seriously, played every day and competitively, and just uh, I thought that was you know going to be it. I thought I'd probably become a tennis coach or something like that. Could you tell us a little bit about MySpace um, and sort of the transition from you know putting your music onto MySpace and then all of a sudden you have a massive fan base? Yeah, I mean, at the time, it sounds so obvious now, it sounds so simple, um, that you could put your music up on the internet and people across the world, anybody could listen to it. That was, at the time, was, for me, was just, like, amazing. It's like, this is crazy. Like, this is such a new thing. This is going to just change the face of the industry, and it really did. I mean, at least it helped to, um, and it helped me. Without MySpace, i got to say, um, I would be in a very different place. A Reason to Swim is your EP, and it was produced a little differently than normal albums are produced. Can you just talk a little bit about that? Yeah, I mean, it was created by the fans. They have funded using um, a Kickstarter-like uh, program um, called Pledge Music, which I think is much better than Kickstarter. And yeah, I raised $30,000 to pay for my record. I don't want to go to that well um, too often, because I know I can do it again mm -hmm. and create my next album doing that. I'm funding this record myself. Um, I've decided not to take any meetings or discussions with labels, um, self-managing as well, and I've just decided that that's what I want to do for this record. Um, I just want to give it a go. Um, so uh, if it comes out terribly and it sells no records, then at least I can you know, be satisfied that I made that decision and I have no regrets. Um, but I'm really excited about it. It's called The Boy in the Broken Machine. Well, we're all really excited about it. It's not just you, but... Um, the whole world. <laughs> the whole world. The whole world. <laughs> When is it? When is it due to come out? Um, it's coming out in the new year. Um, it should have come out already. Uh, but again, that's that's one of those things with being independent is um, it, you have to fund it yourself. It comes out of my back pocket. Um, not that I keep all my money in my back pocket. Um, that would be dangerous. But um, all all hundred dollars of it. Um, and um, and so yeah, the schedule is a little all over the place. But the single we've shot a music video for the single, uh, one of the singles, and um, that will be coming out very soon. Is there anything that a fan has given you that's been kind of crazy and weird and mm, stuff? Yeah. I had a half open um, carton of milk given to me by a Korean fan. Yum. Mm -hmm. Oh, it was delicious. <laughs> I think she had, I don't think she had anything to give me and she just had a carton of milk and she just kind of handed it to me and I'm like, do you want me to throw this away? And she's, no, it's for you. Did she I write on it? Did she give you like a note or was it just to... No, it was just, just milk. So I just kind of accepted it graciously. I was like, oh, thank you. Thanks so much for joining us on Cal TV. Cheers. Uh, my name is Joe Brooks and I've had the pleasure of interviewing Sama. Thank you, Joe. Okay, cool. She isn't she beautiful? Um, please come back and watch our next episode. Um, you've been watching Cal TV. Okay.